Yo, what is going on guys? You already know, it's the Pro Bartlett. Today we are playing some Ocean Horn. Uh, basically this game um, is kind of like Legend of Zelda. It really looks very similar to it um, in a lot of different ways. But um, this is a new series I'm going to be uh, doing on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy it. You see I've already played. I've literally tried to make this video three different times, but OBS, I... Somehow I ended up messing up my OBS, and it wasn't recording when I had it recording, and... Yeah, so literally, I am going to be playing through the beginning. This is my third time playing through the beginning. And it better be the last time, because... It's pretty boring having to go through the same cutscenes and the same everything, so... Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. The game's beautiful, by the way. It's a very beautiful game. Um, you can pick this game up on Steam for like 15 bucks, I think. Of course, I bought it when it was on sale, but that's neither here nor there. Hope you guys are having a great Monday, by the way. This is going to be very awkward if I don't upload this day. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah, better get uploaded, huh? I'm leaving tonight and I'm not coming back, kid. My fate is tied to a monster from the depths of time. Ocean Horn. I hear its horrible sound echoing from the sea. It is coming for me again. This is all happening sooner than I thought. And I am forced to act. Whatever happens next, I'm not going to lose you like I lost your mother. This necklace is the last thing left of her. Keep it close and guard it well. I will give you my old notebook for my travels. It will guide your way to an island of a friend. He will help you to prepare for what is coming. I know I'm asking too much of you. This is the only way to stop Ocean Horn. Wake up. The time has come. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to begin an epic quest. A quest for glory, a quest for all of humanity. Mankind himself. That's you. That's the main character. Don't know his name. I don't even think they ever... I don't know if they ever say his name. I think they just refer to you as you. Obviously, I'm pro Bartlett, so you know. Anyway... So here's our three challenges. Uh, you gotta collect your first 25 coins, read at least 10 signs. I'm gonna go ahead and read that, even though I already know how to play this game. I don't remember what the last one is, but I am gonna read all these signs. We can pick up jars by holding the A button, or hitting the A button. I am using an Xbox One controller. Because keyboard and mouse is for wimps. Actually, controllers are for wimps. I have really bad like hands. Like I don't want to say I've got like carpal tunnel or anything, but it does hurt to uh, to use a keyboard and mouse for a long duration of time. And we got this little cactus monster over here. Actually, I'm not going to fight it because I only have a stick right now. And uh, yeah. Did you sleep all? Did you sleep well, kid? Do you still have the same nightmare? Your father often visited this island on his travels when he was younger. Uh, basically, hey, 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 get up here. Basically, our first, um, this is like a little safe point, checkpoint thing. But anyway, our first mission is to go get the necklace. I already know where the necklace is at. There are objects while carrying them, yada, yada. This crab don't want none. It really doesn't. This other crab over here too doesn't want none of this either. 
He doesn't know that I'm a Jedi. Alright, so we have to go in here to retrieve our mother's necklace. Alright, so basically coins, hearts, anything, you can... They're hidden. See, like right there, I just destroyed the grass and um, a coin popped up. Anyway... Um, I don't think there's anything down. Oh, uh, another cactus monster. Get out of my face. Okay. So basically you can push objects with the action button. The goal is to grab an object like... Well, not the square because it's heavy. But I can take this barrel and I can set it on top of that little button, lever, notch, whatever you want to call it. And it'll open certain parts of the, the map, I guess you can call it. But we got the key. Now we just have to unlock this door. What's behind the door? Nobody knows. Nobody knows except for me because I've played this game for three. I've played it three times, man. Three times. I'm trying to make a YouTube video and it just can't have it my way. Ever. Anyway, oh, um, I do need to pick up this rock, though. Pick up the rock. Can I not chunk it over there? There we go. Opens that little passageway. And, uh, yeah. Just cruising along, you know. There's a freaking bat. I, oh my god. If you guys watched any of my Castle Crashers uh, gameplay, you'll know how much I do not like bats. But uh, that little blue button, this little blue one right here, actually, I didn't even mean to do that. But that blue, this one, if you stand on it, it'll reset. It'll reset the, I guess, the level, the pathways, whatever you want to call them. But, um... Oh my gosh, are you going to fight me? Get out of here! That's actually the first time a bat has tried to fight me. Anyway. going to go pick up this boulder right here and throw it down right over here. And look at that. There's our mother's little necklace. You got back your mother's necklace! It seems like it's no ordinary pendant. Don't know what the pendant does, but... I'm sure it's something important. And looky there, a sword and shield. You found your father's sword and shield. Doesn't this not look like Link's sword and shield? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. But it lo uh, 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 I'm just saying. I'm not saying they try to copy this game. Which, by the way, there's nothing wrong with copying a great game. Legend of Zelda is amazing, even though I've actually never beaten any of the Legend of Zelda games. The only Legend of Zelda game I have really even played, like, for long hours, was uh, Four Swords Adventure. Or it might have just been called Four Swords, but it's for Game Boy Advance. Back, uh, if you guys remember those. I actually had a Game Boy Advance SP. I thought those were the tits. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna trade in my Game Boy Advance and $100 to get an SP. Looking back on it, uh, I don't know. Might not have been the wisest thing. But look, we got 10 coins. All we need is 13... No, we need 25? So we need, what, 8? 8 more? Shouldn't be too hard, right? Now look how much damage the sword does. 2 hits, and they are just gone. No more stick, boys. I got me a sword. Let's see here. Now we're going to go back to that old man and I'll talk to him. I guess we can hit this checkpoint. I don't think you have to hit it. I think it's just if you're in the area. But anyway. You found your father's sword and shield. How did you get your hands on them? You were supposed to have them light away. What? Uh, your mother's necklace started to glow. How could I be so stupid? This is one of the symbols of ancient Arcadia. Follow me. I have a story to tell you. Story time with Gramps. A long time ago, 
These islands were the mighty kingdom of Arcadia. The Age of Enlightenment led Arcadians to outstanding scientific discoveries. Engineering and magic ran deep in their blood. A foul war began as Dark Lord Mesmeroth, who had once been a promising candidate for an Archmage, led dire folk armies to a war against Arcadia. With the aid of his dark magic and the dire folk, Mesmeroth dug deep into the ground and brought to daylight something that should have stayed in the depths of the earth. Triloth, a mass of dark energy left over from the creation of the world. Black boats arrived to the gates of Arcadia, carrying the dark energy Triloth. Soon the light from the world and from the hearts of men faded. The once flourishing society disappeared into the darkness. After the catastrophe, three sea monsters appeared. One of them was Ocean Horn. Oh, it is a vile creature, born under the dark burning light of Trinoth. Although all of these monsters were powerful, only one has survived up to this day. Oh, it is getting late, kid. Return to me in the morning. That was definitely a great story. I don't think I've ever heard a story more beautifully uh, told than that one. Um, but basically, it's dark time now, so we are going to... Man, computers, stop popping these shits up! Okay, there we go. Basically, there's nothing else to do except for actually go to sleep. That's, uh, what we are on our way to do. Get these creatures out my way. If you could please, um, move, that would be ever so awesome. Anyway... We're back at the crib. I'm gonna pop bottles and go to sleep. Yes, I would like to go to bed. And looky there, it's Ant-Man. Not really. I actually have no idea who this character is, but I am sure we will see him in the future of this playthrough. Um, he's got some robotic snails coming up and trying to devour the good people of Arcata. But I'm not going to let them stop me. I am a savage, and savages know... Um, honestly, I don't know what they know, but they know savage things, so... Hiya! This snail does not stand a chance. He's running away. Hey, 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 get off, Grandpa. You better back away. Oh, you hit me, huh? There's a tea bag icon. If I could tea bag you, I woulda. Thank you, kid. The necklace must have attracted these dark creatures, just as your father feared. Monsters and evil forces have disturbed the balance of the world. Your destiny is tied to Ocean Horn, just like your father's. It is no use to hide it any longer. Story time. Old scriptures tell about sacred emblems, relics that hold the power of gods. Their purpose was to maintain the balance of the world, but they lost their power in the catastrophe at the same time as Oceanhorn appeared. I believe that was no coincidence. To unravel the mystery of Oceanhorn, you must find out what happened to the sacred emblems. Here is what I know of them. The emblem of Earth that belongs to the Aru people is hidden in the Perta Desert that was once a vast and beautiful forest. Most of its beauty withered along with the Aurus, wise and fearless bird people. The emblem of Ocean belongs to Gilfolk, the people living in the waters of the world. 
emblem of ocean, is a relic of their long past glory and former power. The emblem of sun was the pride of Arcadia, a symbol of hope and determination for our kind. I will tell you more about it later. It is time to begin your journey. Seek the sacred emblems. This is the only way to get to Oceanhorn and find out what happened to your father. You will learn about the islands of uncharted seas from your father's notebook. First, you should go and talk to people on Tiacriel Island. Take this key that opens the door to the pier where your boat is kept. Godspeed. So that is where we are headed. We are headed to talk to these people. We gotta find out what happened to our pops. And we gotta find the three... I don't even remember what. I wasn't really paying attention. But, hope you guys were. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like if you did. Comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to continue to see more content. And you can follow me on Twitter if you choose to. The link will be in the description below. Read the description. Check out all the stuff in there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys later.